that doggy in the window <coughs> The one with the waggly tail <coughs> How much is that doggy in the window <coughs> I do hope that doggy's for sale <coughs> I must take a trip to California Dog, he won't be lonesome, and the doggy will have a good home. I don't want a bunny or a kitty. I don't want a parrot that talks. I don't want a bowl of little fishes. I can't take a goldfish for walk. How much is that doggy in the window? The one with the waggly tail. How much is that doggy in the window? We do hope that doggy's for sale. everybody, it's me, J. Phineas Mutt, just plain dog. I'm going to be your master of ceremonies and take you on a trip through Dogland. I guess they picked me for the job because there's a little bit of every kind of dog in me. Say, if any of you have dogs of your own, why don't you call them in so they can go along on this trip with us? I'm sure they'll enjoy meeting their canine brothers. Well, let's shake a tail. <laughs> Excuse me, I mean, let's shake a leg and, and get the show going. Now, the first dog we're going to hear about is the smallest of all, and he comes to us from sunny Mexico. Introducing Senor Chihuahua. Cha-cha-cha! Cha-cha-cha! I'm a cha-cha-cha chihuahua. I'm the smallest dog in town. I never have to walk because they carry me around. When I am a puppy, I'm no bigger than a cup. And I get no bigger even when I am grow up. Cha-cha-cha! I'm a cha-cha-cha chihuahua. Everybody think I'm cute. I can feed them to a handbag or the pocket of a suit. I think I'm getting sleepy. It's siesta time, you know. I'm a cha-cha-cha chihuahua and I come from Mexico. Cha-cha-cha! I'm a cha-cha-cha chihuahua and I'm not afraid to fight. I bit a great thing one time but he did not feel the bite. You think just because I'm tiny, so tough I am not. Peppers, they are tiny, but senor, they're pretty hot. Cha-cha-cha! I'm a cha-cha-cha chihuahua and I watch your house for you. Maybe I can catch a burglar, but I catch a mouse or two. I think I'm getting sleepy. It's siesta time, you know. I'm a cha-cha-cha chihuahua and I come from me. Now we go from the smallest to the biggest, big as a pony and twice as brave, the Great Dane.
sitting on his hind paws, he's bigger than a man. Yet when he's with children, he's gentle as a lamb. Long may his majesty Here are three Cocker Spaniel puppies who are looking for a home. Right now, they're living in a pet store window, but I'll bet my last bone it won't be very long before some nice folks buy them and give them a home. Are you ready, girls? Okay, we're ready. We're three Cocker Spaniel pups. We're the three pet store cops. In the window every day, people like to watch us play. But at night we're left alone. Won't somebody take us home? Cocker Spaniels can be fun. Ask somebody who owns one. We love children, yes we do. We are soft and cuddly too. If there's a hunter in the house, we'll hunt pheasant, quail, or grouse. If you want a real good friend, one who's faithful to the Here's a dog whose bark is worse than his bite. He's the terrier, and be nice to him, because some of my best relatives were terriers, <laughs> I think. I love the terrier, <coughs> the terrier, <coughs> that spunky little monkey called the terrier. He's always on the go, he loves to romp around. He's not afraid of anything above or below the ground. Yes, that's the terrier, the terrier. <coughs> That fiery little wiry bone barrier To pick my favorite terrier is very hard to do To show just what a choice I've got I'm gonna name a few There's a schnauzer Airedale Irish Scotch The fox And silly ham The carey blue The bedlington that looks just like a lamb If you like him small but full of gall Then here's what you should do Get a terrier, cause he's the dog for you There's the schnauzer Airedale Irish Scotch The fox And silly ham The carey blue The bedlington That looks just like a lamb if you like him small but full of gall, then here's what you should do. Get a terrier, cause he's the dog for you. Uh-oh, here comes that police dog, the German Shepherd. I knew I shouldn't have taken those sausages from the butcher shop. I'll be back as soon as he leaves. There's a brave and faithful dog that always likes to work. He's the German Shepherd and there is no job he'll shirk. He helps the Army and the Coast Guard both in times of war. Fighting on the battlefield and guarding on the shore. Your children with his life, he'll call you with a cry. Policemen always use him when they need a private eye. He'll sniff the ground and look around until he finds a clue. There is nothing that the German Shepherd cannot do. So if you need a watchdog, there's no better dog to try. If you cannot see, then he will be your seeing eye. And even out in Hollywood, he stars in pictures too. There is nothing that the German Shepherd cannot do. Well, look who 
who's coming now? It's Otto the Dash Hound. Hello, Otto. Uh-oh, he sounds mad. I guess I pronounced his name wrong again. I'm a dog's hund, I'm a dog's hund, don't call me Dash Hound. Who's a fool is sick, don't call me that terrible name, I couldn't stand it. <gasps> Pronounce the name, please, with the right kind of sound. And if it's not the right kind of sound, I wouldn't come when you call me here, that's all, because you see, I'm two doggies long and a half doggy high. In spite of my more legs, I'm quick and I'm spry. You <laughs> pretty fast for a little Wiener Schnitzel, <laughs> I'm a dark hund, I'm a dark hund, don't call me Dash Hound. Of course, I don't like that name, don't call me that for goodness sake. I'm the dog with the body close down to the ground. Oh, for goodness sake, am I close to the ground? I don't like it, but here I am. You could call me a dancer and call me a clown. But when I see a badger go into the ground, when I see him go, <laughs> go crazy, I want to go get him there. <laughs> My long snout. Mm, I got a big one there. I rout him out. That's what I'm doing. I'm routing him out, you know. Because that's what a dog's horn is for. <laughs> for goodness sake, what else would I need for? <laughs> your guns and blow the horn. We're going hunting early in the morn with a great big yikes and a tally-ho. Here come the hunting dogs on with the show. The hunting dog, the hunting dog, the robber, the hunting dog, through hill and dale and field and trail will follow the hunting dog. The beagle, the beagle, he's got eyes like an eagle. There is nothing he'd rather do than chase a rabbit or fox for you. The hunting dog, the hunting dog, the robber, the hunting dog, through hill and dale and field and trail to follow the hunting dog. The retriever, the retriever, he can swim like a beaver. He sits on the shore and waits for your shot that goes and gets whatever you got. With his nose and he'll point with his tail and show you where there's pheasant or quail. The hunting dog, the hunting dog, the robber, the hunting dog, through hill and dale and field and trail, the father, the hunting dog. The springer, the springer, he's a real humlinger. He slips around with his nose to the ground to tell you where the birds are found. <laughs> everybody, here comes the dog catcher. <laughs> uh, you don't have to be afraid of him. He's really not a bad guy at all. Why, he even tried to help this next dog we're going to meet. Here, I'll let him tell you all about it himself. <laughs> I once saw a big old dog crying. His big eyes were filled with such tears. I asked him the reason why he was so sad, and his big voice then boomed in my ears. I'm too big for my dog house, can't get through the door. I want to lie down there, that's what a dog house is for. <laughs> dog who lived here before me, he didn't have it so hard. He was a very small beagle, and I am a big Saint Bernard. <laughs> I thought I would help the poor doggy, and though he was monstrous in size, 
I got behind him and I pushed and I pushed, but all I could hear were his cries. <laughs> I'm too big for my dog house, can't get through the door. I want to lie down there, that's what a dog house is for. <laughs> Big Saint 